The late David Vale has left us some artistic reconstructions of the second century Lindum Colonia, which can give us a vivid impression of what life must have been like living here 2,000 years ago. The spiritual and physical centre of the new city was the Forum. The town hall or basilica was erected on the north side of the courtyard, which was surrounded by a double ranges of rooms and a portico, walkways overlooking the central piazza and a magnificent colonnade, including two entrances, provided an impressive frontage on the main street of the city. The gatehouse in the distance is what we now know as Newport Arch, the remains of a second century north gate of the colony. The style of the Forum at Lindum Colonia, as it was called, seems to have been more continental in style than most of the other Roman Britain forums that were built. Among its earliest citizens would have been ex-soldiers of Mediterranean origin. The river Witham was crucial for transport for men, materials and supplies from the continent and was sailed up the river from Boston. This colony would have had numerous workshops to produce pottery, metalwork, along with carpenters, builders and sculptors. The place would have been a hive of activity. This is a rendition of the lower west gate of Lindum Colonia. The footings of this gate can still be seen at the back of the city council buildings on Orchard Street. After walking and climbing the steps to get up to the upper part of the colony, you would come across this magnificent gate at the top of Steep Hill. The colony would have contained somewhere between 7,000 and 10,000 people, retired legionnaires of numerous nationalities from around the empire, and local Celtic people, and would have wanted to make the most of the Roman way of life. There were numerous temples built to reflect the many different faiths practiced by the people who lived here in what was a wealthy and prosperous cosmopolitan culture. This would be a view looking from beyond the north wall with the Forum and the Basilica in the foreground and to the left and the round root building which was where the public baths were situated. This is a view facing north from the bottom of the high street near South Park roundabout. This road, which was known as Ermund Street, headed south to London. It was in 410 AD, some 267 years after the Roman invasion of Britain, when all the Roman armies and the whole provincial administrative class in Britain were summoned to abandon the country and return to the continent to support Rome, who was struggling to hold back wave after wave of barbarians that were streaming over the undefended frontiers and threatening Rome's very existence. The Britons were left to fend for themselves. It was the beginning of the Dark Ages. Cooling sewing machines stock a large range of sewing machines from £95 to the latest computerised embroidery machines with software which allows you to design your own logos or motifs. Cooling sewing machines also offer free tuition on all their machines and provide a full range of haberdashery. On top of this, they provide an authorised repair service with a wide range of spare parts and accessories. With over 60 machines and overlockers in stock and with all the big names all under one roof, why go elsewhere? Cooling sewing machines, 53 High Street, Lincoln. Lincoln has suffered numerous sieges over the centuries and this summer the city witnessed a spectacular reenactment of an event that happened during the 1640s during the English Civil War. Military control of the city went to and fro several times during the campaigns that tore England apart. King Charles was said to have been well received by large crowds on his visit to the city in July 1642. Certainly the uphill clergy and the gentry were behind him, but the parliamentary party were in control soon after his departure. He's coming! Don't be alive, you fools! You'll all die! Oh. Stand by, tower! Alive. Have a care! The king's men are here! The castle fell to the royalists in May 1643, soon after Cromwell himself had been in Lincoln, though was recaptured by Parliament in October after the Battle of Winsby. But by the following March, the men of that dashing cavalier nephew of King Charles, the famous Prince Rupert, were in control, but only for several weeks as the Earl of Manchester retook the castle for Parliament. If he wants this castle, he can come and take it! 
So here we are, 360 years later, the Lincoln streets are echoing to the sounds of musket shots and the cries of battle. Well, as you can appreciate, the seal not like to create a sense of authenticity. So, what do you do after a long, hard siege? You hang the governor. Now, don't try this at home, kids. This historic, noisy spectacle has been put on by the King's Lifeguard Regiment of Foot, which is a 500-strong Royalist Regiment of the Sealed Knot, a charitable society of some 7,000 members whose aim is to reenact battles, sieges and life during the English Civil War. Thank you. 